Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahusha, Bahashem, Rechaha Gadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught me this truth, who rule well, enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopeful elect. Peace to the fervent brothers on fire pushing this truth. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakatham to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwath that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yabasap coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And this lesson is going to be entitled Spiritual Therapy in Rehab for Kings. And that's what we have embarked on when you're introduced to this word. When you pick up that plow and get to work, you have embarked on spiritual therapy. You have enlisted yourself in a rehab for kings. And through precepts, through scriptures, Lord willing, this lesson would be edifying and comforting. All right? And first and foremost, how do you enlist yourself in rehab? How do you enlist yourself in the spiritual therapy process? By acknowledging your offense. All right? Pursuing to Jeremiah 3, 13. Pursuing to uh, Jeremiah 14 and 20. All right? Acknowledging that you went off in the first place. All right? As we was once in our glory in the time of King David and Solomon, it was only for that short glimpse of time. All right? So once you acknowledge that, you already have enlisted yourself in the process of being healed. All right? Uh, for certain instances, uh, for example, all right, let's, let's, let's take MJ, all right? Or uh, to the more modern individual, Kobe, when they got injured. All right? Did they come back uh, with, the, with the lackadaisical approach? No, they came back on fire, all right? They came back, you know, ready to work. And this is the path that you have to take, that straight and narrow. This is the race you have to run, uh, run you know? And you have to finish it, all right? Looking into your how shot, being an example. So without further ado, let's get into these precepts. Uh, we're going to start off in the book of Sirach, chapter 38. We we'll started the first verse. It says, honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him. For the Lord hath created him. All right. So you have to honor the physician. In our case, the physician is Yahweh Shah. And this is why we start off videos and lessons and live streams and uh, camps with uh, all praise, glory, and honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 2, it says, so Rock 38 and 2, it says, For of the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. And this is the main plain cut to the point chase here, man. All right? From the most high cometh healing. So, with you being wounded, you know, with you being severely uh, 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 on your deathbed, well, who can, you know, heal that? Who can reverse that, you know, that process? It's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. You see? See, because these things, healing, you know, the sick, all right, healing the sinners, healing the broken heart, that comes from Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Right? This is the book of Luke, chapter 8. This is verse 18. It says, Luke 4 and 18. The book of Luke, chapter 4 and 18. So like if I misspoke. It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And the gospel is the good news. What good news can you tell the poor in these times, in these perilous times, in these uncertain times? You see? It says, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. Who are captives? Who are the, 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 servant, uh, the, the servants of this world? You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You 12 tribes scattered abroad. It says, and recovering of the sight to the blind with what? The, uh, the oil, the ointment, you know, that's a healing method as well. It says to set at liberty them that are bruised. All right. 
And we want liberty. All right. And that comes from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Healing comes from him. All right. As the scripture tells you that he comes with healing in his wings. Roughly paraphrase. Luke 4 19 to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So this is the acceptable time that we're able to enlist ourselves in rehab for kings and spiritual therapy. All right. And those of us that have embarked on that journey. All right. The Lord is healing us, you know, through the spirit. All right. Many claim to be free. Many claim to be not oppressed. Many claim to be uh, uh, free of the uh, cares of this world. Nevertheless, if it didn't come by the way of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, then you're totally lost. All right. You're fooling yourselves. You see? Let's go to the book of Hosea. Chapter 6. This is verse 1. It says, Come. And let us return unto the Lord. You see that? It's a process that you have to, you know, embark on. It says, for he hath torn. Yeah. And he will heal us. He has smitten and he will bind us up. You see? So, and this is why we honor the physician. All right? With the honor that's due unto him. Because we know we was in a dead state mentally morally all right and physically financially of course hey the, the last one's hired the first one's fired this is the story this is the proverbs of the nation of israel in these times you know but we have to turn to the lord it says verse 2 hosea 6 and 2 after two days will he revive us see that that's that breath of life coming up unto certain individuals and the third he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight and we are living in his sight by the way of making our bodies living sacrifices you understand jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 4 jeremiah 50 and 4 it reads in those days and in that time, <laughs> you know what I mean? Say of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord, their power. And as it tells you in Baruch, chapter 3, in the days of uh, uh, in the days of those captivities, all right, they shall remember those themselves and call upon his name. All right, the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. All right, those names are a strong tower. All right, and those that need covering, that, that, that seek refuge, that needs spiritual therapy, that need rehab, we run to that tower. You see? And those of, of the like minded as well, they run to that tower, man. All right, even though. It's a, it's a narrow path to go. It may be tedious. You see, it's going to be uh, tribulations through that. You're going to be afflicted. You're going to be tempted. All right. And hey, it's just the beginning. We're going to come up on a time where all is going to be tempted. All is going to be tried as is gold in the, in, the, in, the, in the fire. All right. And we're going to realize who has that dross and continue to have that dross on them. Versus the ones that's going to be purged of that dross. You understand? See, there's only one narrow path to take. Matter of fact, since, you know, the spirit is on, on it to go that way, we're going to go there. This is the book of Second Edges 7 and 6. It says, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Yeah. See, that's a vast future ahead of the men, you know, women and children that's seeking that. You know, we're seeking a vast kingdom. All right. An everlasting kingdom. And that field to get to that is going to tell you. Verse seven, second edge of seven and seven. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Yeah. If I tell you, you got to go past this and that and the other, which the scripture is telling you to do. How many of you want to take that? wide path how many of you 
that would like to take the easy way out. And this is our people, Israel. All right. They, they never want to work for things. All right. And that, that stuck to us. All right. That's a stain. That's a block on, on our, our heritage as we are. Even though we built this country, country through slavery, all right, through our captivity, nevertheless, they'll still call us lazy. All right. Well, the reason why is because we were plain individuals. You know, we like to just dwell, you know, in tents. All right. Pursuing the Jacob, our father, man. All right. And also, we, we have an a, a inheritance to inherit by the way of our father, Abraham. It says, 7 again, 2nd Edges 7 and 7. It says, the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, deep water. You see? So you're going to have to be brought through these things, all right, to know what's precious to you, all right? And wisdom, first and foremost, above anything, should be. Verse 8, it says, and only one path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be but one man go there at once. You see? So this path that the Lord is laying out for us is the kingdom of heaven is a righteous path. All right. There is no unrighteousness in it. But if you drift off, all right, you want to go back into healing yourself. You want to go back into thinking that the ways of the world is better for you versus being in rehab for kings or being in the spiritual therapy. All right. That we're in, you know, and that being said, let's go ahead and get. Uh, that word therapy therapy it says treatment intended to relieve or heal a disorder you see see this is an error from the ruler that we see you see and we know this thing all right the way of the uh, country and the way of the world is being ran we know that that's off okay it's a disorder and we want to be healed and relieved from that and who comes with that Yahweh Shai by the way of the scriptures. It says the treatment or mental or psychological disorders by psychological means. Yeah, that's right. You have Esau Edom plays on your psyche. All right. By the way of the media, by the way of these commercials, by the way of movies, by the way of his, his, uh, his false education, his false history. That plays on an individual psyche. You see? There, that spiritual therapy is treatment for that, you know. Hey, w within the scriptures, we find comfort, you know. And that's a beautiful thing in itself, all right, that we can turn, all right, to a healing source. You know, who, who, what other nation you know of has that, you know, that, that um, uh, word I'm looking for, have that privilege, you know. Hey, no other nation has that privilege to turn to a healing source when the when the world is being broken down and destroyed. Also, the inhabitants thereof. Who has that privilege other but Israel? You know what I'm talking about. So from now we're going to go to the book of Hebrews. Uh, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve. This is verse one. It says, "Wherefore, seeing we are all uh, also are compassed about." With so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Yeah, that's right. We 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 have, uh, you know, things that we need to take care of. You see, we have uh, uh, obligations. You know, we have, you know, duties to accomplish. Right. Nevertheless, we have to lay aside that weight, that burden. You know why? Because it's a better, <laughs> you know, vast future for us. By the way of this spiritual therapy, man. It says, and the sin which doeth so easily beset us. Yeah. It's easy to turn to the left or the right. It's easy to get drowned in the deep water or get burned all right, by a flame. It says, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You know? So that, that doesn't mean, you know, uh, whoever finished the race, you know, you get the crown. Uh, uh, whoever finished the race first gets the crown. No, man. It says let us run patiently. You have to pace yourself in this uh, run that we're 
uh, this race that we're running. You know, first and foremost, if you're called into this thing, hey, be not, you know, don't take it lightly. You know, hey, the water you have about Shem Yahweh Shai, that he put you, you know, set your feet forward to walk this and run this race, man. All right. Why do we do this? Because we have a sure word of prophecy. Hebrews 12 and 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. Who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. So we have something that's set before us. All right? A city that is built on a broad. Man, don't you see what's coming? Don't you see what's about to take place? All right? The ushering in of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man. All right? And you, just by, you know, trying to endure and having your name in the hat to be uh, worthy and be counted uh, for mercy in the day of wrath. To have your name written in the book of life. That's what all is jockeying for positions for. You know? But it's only one nation. And out of that nation, only a remnant of people of that nation is going to get chosen. Which is already chosen. It says, who for joy, who, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. See, in that Hebrews 12 and 2 is so much compacted into one scripture. All right? In the same breath, he's the, uh, 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 the author and the finisher. All right? The Alpha and the Omega. All right? And what was told of him that he was going to get is to sit at the right hand side of his father. So, yeah, he's going to despise shame. A real, true man of the word is going to do the business of his fathers, you know, and, and finish the path, finish the race. All right. And how do we get finished the race if we don't get uh, bounded up, binded up? We don't get the ointment. We don't get the eye salve. We don't take the oil with our lamps. You know, how are you going to finish this race if, if you don't go through spiritual therapy, if you don't go through the rehab for kings? You're not going to be able to. All right. It's impossible. <laughs> Look that word up. So from now, we're going to go to the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 1. It, has, it says, having therefore these promises. <laughs> What's the promise, man? You know, first of all, to be delivered and to be joint as with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, what more do you want out of this, this place, man? What more do you got to work for? What more goals do you got to accomplish? And Babylon the Great. Why won't you go down that narrow path? That, you know, when you behind one man, if he step aside because of rock there, you're supposed to do the same. It's all about order, man. It says, having therefore these promises. All right, 2 Corinthians 7 and 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit. Perfecting holiness in the fear of the Most High, man. That's right. So we have to cleanse ourselves, man. Mentally, all right, <laughs> morally, and physically, man. You know, from the filthiness, man. You know, perfecting holiness. I want to get that word, holiness. Strong's G42, Hagio Sunay. All right, and it reads, uh, majesty, holiness, moral purity. So a simple Google definition of moral, it says ethical, virtuous, concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior and the goodness or bad of human character. Concerned with or derived from the cold interpersonal behavior that is considered right or acceptable in a particular society. So what you people seem to be right and what you see people seem to be ethical, all right, that doesn't fly over here in the nation of Israel, man. All right? And this is why we're going to have to rule with the rod of iron. Again, 2 Corinthians 7 and 1, having therefore these promises Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness 
of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of the Most High. Discerning was good. Discerning was bad. Discerning was evil for you and staying away from that. All right? These things perfect holiness. And therefore, by doing this, by cleansing yourself from the filthiness of the flesh and the spirit, you are therefore entered into spiritual therapy and the rehab for kings. All right? Without going through that path, without going through those uh, uh, purging moments where you, where you purge away your dross, you know, how can you inherit a kingdom that is set for a king? Come on, man. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 1. Let us therefore fear. See, top 8. Going back to the, to the prime. <laughs> you know, it says, least a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. So, the least common denominator, which is the biggest, if you can receive it, is fear in the Lord. You can't make this stuff up. All right? Acknowledge who you are. Acknowledge your offenses. All right? Turn back. Purge away. <laughs> you know? These things from the flesh, from the spiritual uh, aspect of it. All right? Stop thinking vain things. Put away uh, uh, your heavy burdens, the weightier things, you know, that you should be concerned about, either hey, hasten the coming of the Lord and save you. Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? Romans 18 and 8. So like in Romans 8 and 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us you see that this present present time man you know hey man i reckon that this uh, these sufferings these uh pains and, and 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 wild things we're going through they they can't even be compared to what shall be revealed in us man if we endure if we look into the author and the finisher man all right a vow faith man Seeing how he, his eyes was set on that narrow. His eyes was set on the prize, man. You know? And he finished. He finished, man. Which one of you finished yet? You see? So we all don't know. All right? We just do the work. You know? We don't know if we count it worthy or not. We, we Lord willing, we are. All right? But he, he has to last say so. All right? Spiritual therapy, man. Romans 12 and 1. Let's finish off here. Uh, uh, 12 and 1. It reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. You see that? So don't be dillying and dallying about the affairs of this life pertaining to this world. Yeah, we still got bills, mortgages, girlfriends, wives, children, family. Right? But you have to transform by your mind. Get rid of that That. Those uh, vain spiritual and physical thoughts. All right. Step into the spiritual therapy class. Rehab for Kings. Shalom. On to the next one.